Today we're working on a Mini 1. Um, we've got loads of electrical issues, um, so we're going to change the battery. But the battery's in a really interesting place in this car. They put it in here. So you undo this little flap, and here's your battery. But you can't just undo your battery and take it out, because it won't come through this gap. You've got to take this whole panel off here. So you need a 10mm spanner, or a 10mm socket, and then get it on here. Now the aeroplane's going over. So there's your plastic nut. You've got another 10mm round here, which is here. <laughs> so yeah, we get this one out of here. Then there this go. panel comes off anyway. Um, and you have to cringe because it's on your windscreen. I'll record so it. If the windscreen cracks, then don't blame me. <laughs> oh, it's lipped under, it's horrible. Look at that, look. Yuck. And then we've got another 10 mil here. So we have to undo this one to release the battery and then we're going to take the terminals off. When you do your terminals, always start with the negative because if you touch the body, so you, know the, you know the drill, I've told you a million times before. Always start with a negative terminal. This one. The positive terminal is normally red and got a cover on it. Well, it should be red if someone else has put something dodgy on them. So if I was on the positive one now and the negative one's on, if I was to do that and touch the body, then it could arc. Yeah. With the negative, it can't because it's already negative, just goes to the body anyway. So get that off. Get that off. Tuck it around the back there so it's not touching. Same again. Be some of my special tissue in a minute, Ed. <laughs> so that's that's off. Just mind it doesn't go back there because it has a tendency to wander. Nice and loose. Get that one off. So they're both off now. Take that down the back. This one secures the battery. Have a look down there, Ed. So you've got a little thing down here. Can't see much. <laughs> Can't really see, but that's what holds the battery in the car. It is old noisy. Hopefully it's loose enough. Here you've got the fucking local bin wanker. <laughs> <laughs> Emptying his bins and being a noisy prick while we're trying to do a video. <laughs> fucking neighbours, eh? Worst neighbours you've got, Ed, isn't it? Yeah. In the world. In the world. Worst neighbours in the world. It's bloody cold today. Yeah. My nose is running and my feet feel very... Right, that's off. You don't have your gloves today. No. I have, but I can't be bothered to put them on. <laughs> there we go. That's the little clamp that holds the battery. Now all we've got to do is get the battery out, but this... It's a little bit heavy for me to do one foot at this angle. Well, we'll make a good video. <laughs> so, unless I stood on the front of the car <laughs> and dented it, I thought, me, that's heavy. That's an AGM battery. So, what I'm going to do is get my cameraman to give me the camera <laughs> and I'm going to get him to lift it out. <laughs> yes. She's out, baby. Look at that. Bosh. Bosh. Bosh is out. Say how old it is. So let's have a look in here. It's all good. Someone will know in the comments how old this is from that, from one of these numbers. Let's have a look. So someone tell me in the comments how old this battery is. You clever bastards. <laughs> no, it rules. Yeah, bloody no. I haven't got a clue. It's got to be something to do with this, this sort of spec. It's not 1976 or 1980, I know that. It's a QR code. Don't know what that means either. Maybe right, it's... let's get the new bugger in then. Here's a video of the new battery. So that's all the same. And this is a three man job, this one. So we've got 
knob rolled in the um the terminals. Got dewdrops. <laughs> <laughs> got Everyone's got dewdrops because it's so cold. And he's just taking the skin off his knuckles and we <laughs> dropped the new battery in. There you go. There we go. Drop the new battery in there. Jobs are good, and now we can connect the terminal, starting with the positive. <laughs> Luckily, I've got a nice stool now to stand on. <laughs> Get a better yeah, angle. I've got a nice, nice angle to stand on now. That's it. It's just dropped in now. That's nice right, and Let's connected. get this clamp on. So this clamp goes down that way. Get down there. Get down the Find the hole. Always the hardest bit. Yeah, it's always the hard bit, isn't it? Finding the hole. I know, I would. It would have made it easier, wouldn't you? It would have created the human being. It would have made it much easier to find the eye. Right, don't want to cross thread this, so fingers first or feet just to get it going. What I really should have done is put my electric screwdriver, set it up so that I could have just used that yeah. with a 10mm in it because it would have been so much easier than using a ratchet. Socket. Yeah, first. We're not even to the most important thing yet. The most important thing about changing the battery in a modern car is telling the car that you've changed the battery. And people don't even think about that. But you've got to do that now because otherwise it's going to be charging, thinking it's charging an old battery and it'll be overcharging it and it'll fry your new battery. Then we return it saying it don't work. Yeah. And then you just take it back and say, oh yeah, I had a fucking seven year guarantee on this. <laughs> How many years of guarantee on these numbers? Three. Three, yeah, that's yeah. right, isn't it? Yeah, right. So now, positive terminal. Do I have to charge the battery up or is it already charged? Well, you're supposed to, um, according to the thing. Which I, I've, never, I've never known a shop to give you a flat battery before, but apparently. But. I told your dad not to because I've, I've never done it. So yeah. I always thought they would come charged. So we'll just we'll, we'll forget about that bit. Make sure your battery's charged. Before <laughs> and now for the negative, we'll get a little spark here. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. Not shock, yeah. Fuck no. It's only 12 volt. Fine. Mm. Little tickle. Little tickle. Little tickle on the toes. Enjoy Keep it, don't these you? just in case you've ever got any batteries <laughs> to put them on. All right, make sure you tighten it up. Good, nice, tight connection. It really matters with a battery to have a good connection. <laughs> But you don't want to round it off. <laughs> go. Get it out of the way. Well, I've got to put that stupid plastic back now. So, feed it under there. There's bits of rubber sticking everywhere. It's just to make it really hard. And, uh, Tuck that in, get that under there, don't break the windscreen. <laughs> All these things to think of now. Just don't break your windscreen doing your battery. Really? Thanks, really. For fuck's sake. You can't lift the wiper up because the bonnet's up, look. <laughs> so you really. So what we're going to have to do is go around here. Eek it one beer first. I think. Been around there. Bloody hell. It looks what hard on the video. <laughs> what fat? I knew getting it in wouldn't be as easy as taking it off. That's it never is, is it? No, nothing's easy. Tilt. Tilt and slide. Yeah. Hey. Tilt and slide action there. We're on nine minutes. <laughs> oh boy. My toes are so numb <laughs> that I can't actually. Get you in there so Eddie's gonna get you with his hands. Yeah. That's it, he can stick that one on. Fuck it. Right. 
can't get around to do the back one. Obviously I'm using the old batteries at the stall now to so make it more comfortable. Don't yeah. fall off. <laughs> as long as it don't explode <laughs> This is a lot of faff to put a battery in, isn't it? Yeah. Normally it's in the boot or something, isn't it? Yeah. With the front under the bonnet where most cars are. Ten minutes to change the battery. Hell. Lucky I do charge by the hour. <laughs> by the half hour? No, I charge by the ten minutes. Yeah. First ten minutes is fifty quid. Second ten minutes is twenty five quid. Oh yeah. And then all the other tw all the other um, ten minutes after that are fifty again. Back up. <laughs> yeah, we go back up. We don't do the, we don't do the conventional way. Second hour half price, but <laughs> yeah. Nothing's half price, mate. Well, <laughs> yeah. you got a twenty five pound call out charge as well. Oh no, oh. seventy five. Seventy five. Used to be twenty five twenty years ago. 75 pound call out charge during sociable hours but during unsociable hours like between <laughs> 8 o'clock in the morning and oh, 10 yeah. o'clock at night which I call unsociable hours because <laughs> I like to have a lay in um, during those times it's 150 call out yeah. that's the way I roll mate are you all connected? all connected just got to tighten this little plastic one up, which I don't like doing with a socket because nine times out of ten they run up and around off. Just get very... Why have they got one plastic? <laughs> How stupid is that, isn't it? One plastic, one metal. And that's not just, just this car, because the other one was like that on YouTube, wasn't it? Yeah. Right. Just the minis. Very, very minimal talk on that. <laughs> yeah, and then I'm going to drop it down in the wing. And it's gone forever. Yeah, it'll go down the wing, and then the video will be me trying to get the bloody thing out. <laughs> Fucking twat. <laughs> problems, eh? You need to get. This is more foot problems, you see. But this is the bit that go viral. Oh yeah. It's me dropping the fucking socket down there. <laughs> Hopefully, everyone comment. I'm not going to drop it. Everyone I'm not call him a drop twat. It down <laughs> there. Imagine dropping it down there. No. Uh, right, I'm not going to do it. Right, put your cover back on. And then this cover back on. Yeah? Yep. I have. I was questioning myself then. Because it wouldn't... There we go. There you go. Nice and easy. Then this stupid little bit of trim has to go back on. Which is another 20 minute job. Yep. Hey, bitch. Right, so that's on there. Nice dirty feet now. Ready for the bank, bank appointment in a minute. <laughs> right, now the most important job is to go and with the Archie Diag Pro, we've got to tell the car that it's got a new battery in it. Ignore the state of the carpet, it's not my car. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> right, so with the, this is the Archie Diag Pro. You can also do this with the other one that I've got, which is the um, right register battery exchange. Right, we need to do that. So F2 battery exchange is entered in the DME in the next stage. Step just following stage. Engine off. Turn 15 on. Entry cannot be cancelled. Currently register battery 70 amp hour AGM. Yep. Yeah. Enter battery exchange to same capacity. So we need to do F1. Battery exchange is entered in the engine electronics. Please wait. The battery exchange was successful. Successfully entered in the electronic and standby current Instagram was reset successfully. The following is now entered in the DME CD. Last battery exchange, 124. I uh, don't know why it's coming up with kilometres because the car's in miles. Second battery exchange, yeah, don't worry about that. Okay, continue. In the next step, the date and time of the vehicle will be set. Continue with that. And then it does the time and the date for you. So apparently it's 10:18. Is that right, Ed? I don't know. Um, and it's the 21st of the first 25. 10:18, 21st. Yep, that's yep. perfect. So that's going to change the clock and everything for you. And now it's finished the function. 
and now the car knows it's had a new battery and we don't have to worry about the, the alternator overcharging or anything else which is good so that's done so that's all registered it's as easy as that